In some of the previous videos on the AQL tutorials, we have shown how to use the built-in AQL functions. We have concatenations, we have uh, finding maximum, minimum, average, uh, sum, you know, etc. But why, wh what if you have a specific thing that you want to manipulate the data with and you don't have an AQL function for it. So this is an advanced topic uh, that, that is good to complement the AQL service, but I don't see a lot of people actually using this. But nevertheless, here we go. Again, thanks to Mutas uh, from IBM Poland and Colin Hay from Canada, who uh, uh, provided the, the information uh, to actually uh, do this. So this example is not very meaningful, just is to show the functionality and how you actually do this. But let's say that we want a function, a custom function at numbers, that basically, you know, uh, as the name implies, we just wanted to add uh, these two uh, numbers. And we want to invoke it, of course, uh, within AQL. Again, not a meaningful example, but I just want to show the methodology to actually do this. All you need to do is take an XML file, and actually I'm going to show the modified template in here. Let's actually see it in, in, in uh, more detail, in which we specify that the namespace we're going to be using is called application2, and that's what you see that application2 here. Uh, and the rest is just standard parameter, and here is where we put the JavaScript that we actually want to do. From the two arguments that we are passing, we just want to add them and return the sum of the two. Again, very simple example, but showing the methodology used in here. And just for completeness, we want to show another example in which we modify the concatenation uh, function, the standard concat uh, that comes in AQL just to, you know, perform some actions. So once you have that XML file created, what you need to do is actually put that XML file somewhere in Curator. I just chose to put it in OPT Curator bin. But it can be anywhere. So I put those uh, two files in there. And then you need to run the following command to actually import that in QL. That content management is that that's one of the utilities for importing configuration searches and many other good things in Curator. Typically, you use that to move things from one system to another. So you use the same uh, script to actually import that uh, XML file. And here we see the results of a successful import. If you want to be triple sure that everything went well, you can actually go into the Postgres and issue this command. So you go into Postgres with PSQL minus U curator and then do select from um, sorry, asterisk from custom function. And here we see that we have that function that we added. We are ready to use it now. And that's, this is a simple example in which we are actually that the syntax when you call it as a namespace we gave it application two double semicolon and then add numbers. And in fact if you are if you just tap the big type the beginning of you know add number then the the tool will automatically show you that option because it's now part of the of your AQL set of uh, functions. 